y'all welcome back and welcome if you're new here as you can see by the title of this video i'll be showing you all my updated straight natural silk press routine i get asked questions and my hair has grown girl my hair has flourished and been a straight natural it's one of the best decisions i've made for my hair it's almost been a year. Um, if, if you watched my last video, I was showing you all the Dyson Airwrap. Gave me my blow dry results here. Um, it is kind of starting to swell up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to straightening. I already have my heat protectants on. So if you would like to see my updated straight natural soup press routine, then stay tuned. I'm thirsty. Ooh. I just let some ice cold water. So using my Ion One Stroke Ceramic, let me say it again, Ceramic. Don't be messing with no titanium out here if you're not no professional. But anyway, I let um, my hairstylist suggested this brand and me use the ceramic better for your hair. And I love, absolutely love it. Just gonna turn her on. I use 400. And I don't go any higher than 400. So it's just heating up and it'll make a little sound at your desired temperature. It'll make a sound letting you know. And I don't go no higher than 400 degrees. Okay? Because we are not frying no hair. That's the sound that it makes when it's ready for you. So it's at 400 degrees. I love this comb. I got it from my like local beauty supply store. It's by the brand, oh, it's called Red by Kiss, the brand Kiss. I really like this comb because the first comb that I had was not heat resistant. This is heat resistant, so it stays intact. It doesn't damage the comb. The comb can withstand the heat. I like to have some crocodile clips handy and like a scrunchie. I literally just like take my fingernail and section off my hair. And the key, especially for thick hair, is the smaller the sections, the better. It's like two section off and put the rest of my hair in a scrunchie. I like to go in with my comb first. Yes, I do the chase method. Get up right there. Get that roots and go in here. And make sure the flat iron is chasing the comb. At first, when I first did it myself, I was making the comb chase the flat iron, but the flat iron needs to chase the comb. The other way is backwards. You wanna make sure your technique is correct and look how straight it is. And then I used to add a bump to it, but as of like the past couple of times, I've just been leaving it straight, straight. It's just so satisfying. Like, especially when, when you get the hang of it, this is just, I love straightening my hair. It's just so satisfying. And that's pretty much all that I do. So I'm gonna pretty much speed it up. I literally am just gonna repeat this, just continue to section off my hair using my fingernail and putting the, <laughs> the rest of my hair in a scrunchie. Again, small sections. And I like this flat iron too because you can get your root good. So you don't have to worry about your roots being puffy. Then I like to take my crocodile clip and keep what I already straightened section off so that won't get mixed up with what, so I won't go over it, you know, more than more than once now. But yeah, now that y'all got the gist of it, I mean, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna just go ahead and speed it up some. And I'll be back once I section my hair off again. Time will bring the red, I'll end up out for a while. There'll be no remnant. 
there's no trace, no residual Who feel as within you Then you won't remember me Your face will be the reason I smile But I will not see what I cannot have forever I'll always love you You feel the same That's so cute. It's like once I get to a certain part, it's like the star section. My hair off. Like I said, it is not the neatest. Um, how I section off, I just do what works for me. Yeah, that's what matters. I had to live. have definitely come a ways 
I thought, I think like in one of my videos, I was um talking, yeah, in one of my videos, I was talking about how my ends were thick. My hair just had to get used to being straight and it didn't take long for my hair to get used to being straight. But as you can see, my ends are nice and smooth. So yeah, and I just feel like my technique has improved. And it's just one of those things where the more you do it, the better you get at it. So yeah, I really feel like I have my silk presses on lock. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera. I'll come back and show you all the final results. Okay, y'all, so we are done. Let me show y'all. Here is the finished product. So my hair is literally like raw length, I guess. Yeah, it's like literally touching like my boobs. So I haven't looked at the back yet. And like I said, I used to put a little bump, like I used to like curl my hair a little bit at the ends, but now I just like keeping it straight, straight, straight. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you're gonna be trying out any of the products, any of the techniques um, that I used and let me know if you're a straight natural or thinking about becoming a straight natural. Hey y'all, it is Sunday. It's actually two days after my wash day. I just wanted to get up here and show y'all how my hair came out. I believe it's like it's, it's a little past uh, where my tank top ends. Like, yeah, we're brawling. This my hair. I did it bone straight this time. I usually would add, I used to add like a little curl to it. I think I may have mentioned that, but I really like it like straight. I'm telling you all, being a straight natural has been the move for me because my hair has been thriving. Because when I used to wear my hair in wash and goes. I don't have to worry about single strand knots. I don't have to worry about my ends. That was not the best for my ends at all. I like, ooh, my ends went through it and it's because of your my curls being pretty much intertwined and just that, that's like, that's not a low maintenance type of style. But do what works for you. This is what's been working for me. And then I had transitioned over to doing my twist outs but i had got bored of that you know twist outs only last for so long i mean mine would last but it's because i would i would make it last if you know it <laughs> but yeah i've been loving being a straight natural my hairstyle has really encouraged me too because i used to be one of those naturals that was i want to say afraid of heat damage but kind of like apprehensive to using heat on my hair my hair sales was like i have clients that come in every week to get a silk press and they they don't have heat damage their curls still revert and i've seen comments of people being like they've always been a straight natural and but their and their curls still revert back yeah so honestly i don't there there's like a piece or two like in the back that's maybe questionable heat damage but it still has a curl to it like it still will revert back and since i'm not wearing my hair curly i mean it doesn't matter to me anyway if anything like especially with my hair getting longer now my curls are getting more loose because my hair is getting longer so it's fine with me i'm not scared of, i'm not afraid of heat just use a heat protectant like i've showed y'all the ones my hair stylist use on me the mazani 25 milk and the olaplex number seven bonding oil i love these like real bad like i just love these i use this when my when i'm before i blow dry and then i use this after my hair is blow dried before i go in with the flat iron and um, it adds a really nice shine really nice sheen to it this already does as well this has a lot of benefits in it because it's the 25 miracle milk this little oil is, is gonna last me like forever because 
you only need three drops. I even had somebody ask me, am I relaxed the other day? I think I may have shared it um, earlier. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people think I'm relaxed. I'm like, no, like my hair is still natural. And I'm so glad that I was able to share my updated routine with you all because I have gotten better with it. I've gotten nice with the flat iron, okay? And I have to thank my hairstylist for that because not just the hair styling is important, but also the preparation, like your whole wash day will determine how your hair turns out from shampooing your hair to conditioning. And so all of that to your blow dry results, all of that will determine how your hair comes out. So shout out to my hairstylist. So thank you, Nikki, to my hairstylist. If she's watching this, she really, she really be giving me the tea. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. Comment below, comment down below if you have any questions about being a straight natural. Like I had mentioned, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in this one or not, but I am approaching a year since I've been wearing my hair straight and I love it, girl. I don't see myself going back to curly or back to twist outs or anything like that because my hair has just been flourishing being straight it's, it's been responding well I'm so grateful to be able to do my own hair um it will be probably time for a trim soon but I'm just trying to listen to my hair um and get a trim when I see that I need a trim if I don't see that I need a trim then I'm not gonna just be cutting away my hair because we got goals that we're reaching yes healthy hair but listen to your hair, you know? Listen to your hair and how your hair grows. So anyways, let me stop rambling. Thank you all for watching. Comment, also comment any videos that you wanna see, you know, around straight hair. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Give, but you cannot take love. Yeah.